many times you have a couple conceived by assisted reproduction technology or by IVF, but you don't want other couples who are going through similar circumstances, you know, to know how they went about their problems or challenges to achieve success. So they keep it very concealed, very secret. Well, I think it doesn't help the society, it doesn't help humanity, it doesn't help the fellow humans who are suffering from infertility. Uh, I know the society is struggling to come to terms with assisted reproduction technology, but it has, got, it has gotten wide acceptance in a lot of places. I know a lot of people still battle with it for religious reasons, for cultural reasons, and uh, for some social reasons, some people feel stigmatized to be, I mean, to, for others to know that they, they've gone through an IVF. And even when they're talking to the doctor, they say, I don't want anybody to know I did IVF. Man, is it a crime that you have done an IVF? I think uh, we should be bold enough. IVF is the same as spontaneous conception. The only difference is that fertilization happened or occurred in the petri dish, in the laboratory. But implantation happens in the uterine cavity, just the way it happened in spontaneous or unaided conception. And then the babies and pregnancy develop the same way and are faced by almost the same fate. You know, and the babies are born alike. You know, so uh, if we understand what IVF really is, I don't think we should segregate or stigmatize or consider ourselves subnormal or subhuman for telling others that we have done an IVF. And this happened a lot in the churches, you know. They give all the stories, but they hide the details of how they achieve conception. You know, it doesn't help others who are going through similar situations. So let's be bold. Let's break the silence. Let's speak out and let's help the society. Thank you for listening. Till I come your way next time. Have a nice day.